There are 365 instances in Scripture where God tells us, be not afraid. And this is not by happenstance. This is, this is divinely orchestrated. One for every day of the year. Do not be afraid. And brothers, one of, one of the worst things that can be on the planet, that can exist, is a man who is afraid. This is one way the devil loves to get us. Especially a man. And you know, in anything in life, if the devil takes down a man, he takes down a whole bunch of people with him. Okay? Because men are the natural born, naturally created leaders of the human society. You know, I, I was just um, reading through some material not too long ago, and, you know, psychologically, this is just not even from, you know, Catholic Christian sources, but women are looking to be protected, generally speaking. This is a general feminine quality that they're looking to be provided for and protected. This is it. How many women I know married a guy, maybe one of you, <laughs> maybe a few of you, because, you know, he can, he can provide for them. He's going to be able to provide for the family. Not that he's so dreamy, look at him, dreamy, on his pocket. No, he has a nice pocket. He's stable, and he's mature, and he's moral, and he's going to be able to provide a stable environment for me and my family. That's very attractive to a woman. Fear is the anxiety or the agitation caused by the presence or imminence of danger. Danger. Warning, warning. Warning, Will Robinson, warning, warning, anybody see you uh, lost in space? You know, <laughs> I love that robot. But we, we, can't, we can't stay in that place. You know, uh, so we have to, we, the initial shock may be fearful, but we have to work through it. And as we always hear, we're standing on the rock. There's no wave that can knock us off. There's no wind that can blow us over. There's no threat to us that he cannot overcome. Just think about that. Nothing in this life can destroy us. We just heard it. Do not be afraid of anything that can kill the body. And the, with the body comes the psychology and, you know, you know, uh, you know, all the things that happen on this earth. We should, we should never be fearful of. The only thing that we need to be fearful of is the thing that can cause our souls to be condemned to hell. That's the only fear. As a matter of fact, there's only one scripture in the whole Bible that gets me nervous. Only one. One little sentence from Jesus. He said, when I come again, will there be anybody who has faith? Now, Jesus said, that means everybody is susceptible to falling out of grace for eternity. Everybody's susceptible to that. This habit is not sin-proof. This, ha this habit is not a ticket to salvation. And so I have to think, Lord, huh, I need you more every day because I can slip and I know my weaknesses. And I fight them every day with grace. But sometimes they're a real battle. But every time I think of that, that scripture, I say, okay, Lord, yes, I know I'm weak. I know, uh, I know it can happen to me. And I come quick. Come into my heart. Give me the words. Give me the grace. Give me the, the consolation that I need at this moment. And so we need to trust in God in all things.